The gradual easing of the lockdown has seen most businesses resume operations across the nation, with many supposed to be operating under the COVID-19 standard operating procedures as guided by the Ministry of Health. However, the Health Ministry says following the easing of the lockdown, the country has seen a rise in cases in Kampala and parts of Wakiso. As a result, three business premises have been ordered to shut down operations. We have registered emerging clusters of transmission in three business premises in the last one week, where in all 11 cases and 316 contacts have been identified and listed. These business premises have been recommended for temporary closure, and they include the following. Eagle Holdings, where we have had four cases confirmed, and the cases were linked to the fifth death that was of a 46-year-old female of Indian origin. The second is Mega Industries, that also has four confirmed cases. And the third is Toyota Uganda, with three confirmed cases. Following the current trend of COVID-19 in Kampala metropolitan area, the Ministry of Health working closely with Kampala Capital City Authority and partners will intensify response activities. Two positive cases of COVID-19 from two arcades in downtown Kampala have also been confirmed. One is Namaganda Plaza and the other one is Galilaya. These two arcades uh, the, the, the two people who work in those arcades called our emergency response unit through community alerts. So when we traced back on their contacts and where they worked, uh, the two gentlemen indicated the two arcades. The current trend in the rise of cases of COVID-19 is attributed to non-compliance by members of the public. We might need to increase uh, and, and bring more enforcement officers uh, now within the city to help in the enforcement in these arcades in public transport. As you are seeing, there's so much non-compliance to the SOPs that have been issued. The people have masks. They don't want to wear the mask in uh, public transport. If we adhere, we will begin to see a drop. However, if we remain defiant, then the number of cases will continue to climb, as is already evidenced by four deaths in a week, and the number of deaths will continue to increase. So the population need to rethink about their lives. It is true we all need to survive, but survival is not only about economic survival. The cumulative number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Uganda stands at 1,353, with a total recovery of 1,311 cases. Aaron Mukama, NTV.